have some more happy mail today. Um, I'm so glad so many of y'all like watching happy mail videos because <laughs> I like making them. And I lately have had the opportunity to make quite a few of them, which is kind of really, really cool. Uh, this one is a package I received from Lou Jean Martin, who is just one of my fairy craft mothers because she's just always sending me the most fabulous stuff ever. Um, anyway, she sent this box that I was not expecting, which just makes it even cooler. And it's just full of great stuff. I'll just go through and show you what all she sent. She sent a bunch of paper in this one and a bunch of, um, well, I should show this first because some of this won't make sense without this. Okay, in the box was this box this craft beater tool thing and she has a note where's the note she wrote a note about it it must have been in the okay she sent a card it's, look at those gorgeous beetles it must have been yes she was talking about how she found this old bead roller thing and it works great which makes me wonder why she sent it, because I'm thinking, oh no, now I have her little bead roller thing, but I'm actually kind of glad I have it, because it does work great, and it's really cool. I've already played with it. I took it out, I attached it to my little table, like she suggested. You set these up like this, and then it's got these three different size mandrels that you can put in it to make you know, your bead holes, different sizes, and then you just turn the crank, and it makes the bead. Voila. Cool, huh? There's some of these out now that I've seen in the stores. I haven't bought one. Um, kind of a, I guess, a newer, more modern version, and I've wondered if they worked, and if they're anything like this one, the answer would be yes, they work. So this was actually really cool. Um, I've had fun playing with it, and I'm going to play some more. But she also sent, she'd made a whole bunch of beads. Look at all those. Fabulous beads that she made and sent with it. And some of them, see that, see the little um, crossword thing? Uh-huh, that's what that is. She sent this stack of uh, calendar pages with the crossword deal. And she made some beads out of it. So that's what I'm going to do because I can copy. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> Um, and some candy wrappers. And she also sent this bag of, look at all these, candy wrappers and, and uh, foil candy things. And she sent the note. She's so funny. I just, I just know we would be best friends because we have a similar sense of humor. She says, oh, the torture we artists must endure. I had to consume bags of Hershey's Kisses in the name of art, and I had to eat them at different times so that I could get the Easter and autumn colors of foil. Oh, the agony, the agony. <laughs> Look at how she sacrificed for her art. I am just so impressed and amazed that she would have been willing to suffer through all of these candies just so that she could use them in her art and roll them into little beads and and do all kinds of fabulous stuff with them but anyway so she's got she sent all of these beads she sent the bead roller she sent and there's more beads she's got this whole thing full of beads and notes and um, she said these have been rolled but haven't been uh, finished out yet. She usually uses like a Sharpie or something to finish them out. And look at these music sheet ones. Those are fabulous. Look at that. These are so awesome. She makes great beads. And, oh, these are the ones that I made when I was playing with the bead roller. Let me show you. Okay, see, look, it's got, um, I made a tube bead, and it makes, puts tiny little holes if you use this, um, wire one. And then this one is the perfect size for that, you know, like a Pandora bead, and that was with the biggest mandrel. And then these were some of the others. So it rolls a tidy bead. 
I'm impressed. And it was easy to do, easy to control, especially with this kind, you know, where you have to kind of keep it centered up. It was really easy to control with that um, tool thing. So this is fun. I've been having fun with this. I'm going to continue to have fun with it because now I've got all these cool papers to try. Okay, she also sent with it, check this out. This is like some, you know, shred stuff, I guess. But it is just the right size to be wrapping around a bead. Look at that. It's perfect. So, yeah, that's, that's immediately what I thought of using it for. Um, I suppose there's other uses, but I'm going to wrap it around beads because it's just the right size. And also, I have never seen this before. I don't know from where this came. Let me move these out the way. But they are pretty darn cool. It's, it's just tape, decorative tape, which, okay, yeah, I've seen before, but not this skinny. Look! Can you even see it? Is it like, it's probably so skinny, it's like invisible to you. <laughs> but it's all these little, like, graphic tapes. Um, you know, um, not washi tape, but the metallic tapes. But they are, I swear, they're probably, I don't know, I don't, I'm not good with measurements, but I'm thinking maybe like a sixteenth of an inch. Maybe. Maybe an eighth of an inch, but I don't know. That looks smaller than an eighth. It, it's just teeny, teeny, tiny tape, which makes it perfect for wrapping around beads. And see, and it's sticky, easy to use, but look how tiny. It's so cute! And she sent just tons of it in all these different colors, and some of them even have like a pattern on them. So I am very excited about this because, you know, I mean, obviously my first thought was put it on beads, but I've had second and third and fourth thoughts too. <laughs> I've been thinking all kinds of stuff to use that skinny tape on. So yeah, I'm just happy with that, Lou Jean. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now she also sent some papers. Just a variety of different fun papers. Okay, this really thrills me because I love origami. I do origami on occasion. Um, you know, nothing super difficult or fancy. But, you know, I can do some stuff. I can, I can sometimes follow the diagrams. And she sent some diagrams, and then she sent these papers. And it's funny because when I do origami, I rarely have, like, real origami paper. You know, I just cut a square of something that I have. But... That makes me miss out on all these fabulous origami papers, and some of them are really cool. Um, I, I'm really kind of excited about using these, because, uh, look, that's just a little bit of awesome right there. These are great. I guess I should pay more attention to origami papers, because those are some fun papers in there. You know, they're for origami, origami so they're just the right weight and everything. So I'm going to make something fabulous, maybe for Christmas. Um, I'll make a little something, I don't know what. She sent some um, construction paper scraps for, you know, beads or for whatever. So I'm happy about that because I don't have any. And look at this, two of these paper pads, and these are like, you know, good paper pads. These are not clearance rack paper pads. These are the awesome ones. And this is from um, Basic Gray, and it's got all of these, and ledger sheets. Ledger sheets are just my favorite. I have a couple of, um, well, they're almost gone now, thin notebooks of ledger paper. But these have the different colors and, you know, some of their kind of age looking. So these are fabulous. I love these. I'm very excited about these. And they're just the right size to cut into uh, strips for beads. So there you go. And then look at these. She always has the most unusual stuff. Last time it was fabric. This time it's paper. I've never seen these. This is just a printed paper. It's almost like an origami weight paper, but it's rectangles. So I don't know 
I don't know what the story is on this, but it, the patterns are absolutely stunning. Look at that. Look at the colors. I don't know where this came from, but I'm fascinated. Ah, look. I've never seen this. She just continues to amaze me with the things that she finds. And then this one, these two are glossy. This almost feels like a wrapping paper. But, I don't know, that's some pretty awesome wrapping paper. That's what it is. So, anyway, these are just great. I am very, very excited about these. This will make beautiful beads, too. Okay. And she also sent, because, you know, she knows me. She knows me. Look at these. I'm all about these little notepads because I pick them up when I can, when I can find them, you know, on sale or something because I use them. And she sent these two that were from, um, I saw where they were from. I just can't remember where it was. They were from some play, Oriental Trading. Yes, Oriental Trading. Just plain, ready to decorate, inexpensive, awesome, canvas covered note notepads, notebooks, and these, okay, look at these. These are so pretty. These two little journals with lined paper, which I need for my projects. I need lined paper, and look at the colors on those covers. Those are cute. Just got those at Staples, I'm thinking. And then these two, they have um, colored sheets in them. The gray and then the kind of burgundy. Those are really pretty and I like the, the um, magnet closure and of course the recycled with the brown papers. These are just the right size just to toss one in your purse you know for when you need to write something down because I don't have enough notebooks in my purse. <laughs> I always have several whenever someone says, oh, do you have a piece of paper and a pen? Oh, man, can I ever hook them up? <laughs> so, yes, these will definitely um, be getting some good use. Thank you so much, Lugene. <laughs> and let's see, the final thing in her box, I believe. I hope I haven't got anything mixed up. Okay, she sent this. These are so fun. And her little note said, these were simply begging to adorn, to adorn your journals or your neck or whatever. And I think she's right. Okay, this one, look at these. And I love these little bags, too. You know, she, she could have just, like, wrapped it in a paper towel and sent it. But no, she puts it in this sweet little bag. Because that's just blue jean. But look at this. It's this little pendant. And this has got like an eye. Because you know, I'm all about eyeballs. It's got this eye. And then it's got these little gears. And it's all like steampunky looking. I love that. And then this one. It's another fabulous eyeball. Which makes me happy. Look at it. Oh, the colors. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. I think I will wear them. I don't think I'm going to put them on a journal because they're too fabulous. I think I'd prefer to wear them. I may wear them both at the same time. I may make earrings out of them because that would be kind of funky. Huh? I might do that. I don't know. But they're just, I'm going to enjoy them just like they are for a while. And they've got this hard glass dome thing over the top, which is really neat. It's not resin. It's, it's glass. So those are fabulous. Lugene, as usual, um, I love each and every item that you sent. Absolutely love it, and I thank you so much for doing that. It means a lot to me that you took the time and, and the expense to do that, and I thank you very, very much. Okay, um, that's all I can think to say. So, the end. <laughs>